The brothers and sisters, you're going to learn today that Christ is a black man like you. You're going to learn that Christ has woolly hair just like you. You're going to learn that these movies with a white man playing your image is wrong. That's deception. That's the wickedness of this world. Read. With all deceivableness of unrighteousness, you're going to learn that that is unrighteous because you fail to realize what righteousness is according to the Bible. Hold that and get righteousness. Get Deuteronomy. Because you fail to realize that doing good is not what you imagine. It's not what you think is good. Doing good is what God has proclaimed to be good. That's right. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you need to learn what righteousness is. Read. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 25. It shall be our righteousness. It shall be our what? Our righteousness. What shall be our righteousness? What shall be the black man's righteousness? What shall be the Latin man's righteousness? What shall be the Hispanic man's righteousness? It shall be our righteousness. What? If we observe to do all these commandments. The scripture says it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do the commandments. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're not keeping God's commandments. You're not righteous because you have chosen to follow the ways of the wicked. You've chosen to allow yourself to be deceived by the man who put you in slavery. Blacks, you are the greatest people on this earth. Right. Have you not realized that you are king on this earth? Right. You have not realized that you are God's chosen people. The black man is God's chosen people. Right. But you keep walking by it because that's not appealing to you. You like being at the bottom of society. You like being in slavery. You like being called nigga. You don't want to be called child of God. You fail to want to be the prince of the power. Read. Read it again. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all of these commandments before the Lord our God as he hath commanded us. So do you keep God's commandments, brother? What commandments do you keep? All ten of them. All ten of them. Guess what? Guess what? Give me Exodus 20 uh, about the Sabbath. Because if you keep all ten, well, you're talking about the Ten Commandments. Now, guess what? One of the commandments, I know you're breaking. I know you're about to break a commandment right now. Read. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Now, don't run from the commandment you say you keep. Read. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, this is your history book. Right. This Bible was written for you. That's God right. said that it would be our righteousness if we keep the commandments. Read. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. God is telling you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans about the Sabbath. In six days you should do all your work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Because you have devils wanting to mock us and mock your heritage and mock the things that God gave you. But you won't defend that, but you'll defend homosexuality. You'll defend drugs. You'll defend someone shooting your own people down in the streets and say, you know what, let's forgive them. If someone shot your mother, would you forgive them? You'd be a fool to do it. Go back to 2 uh, Thessalonians from the top. Black man with the dreads. Come here, man. Come here, man. Hey, he's talking to you. No, I'm talking to you, brother. I'm talking to you. That's I'm right. I'm here to tell you that you God's chosen people, That's but you right. run out here like the devil. You run it out like these heathen. The heathen don't have to keep God's laws, but you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you God's chosen people. That's right. You're supposed to be on top of this earth, but you've been deceived by that wicked. Yeah. You want to second That's a loaded. Chapter 2, verse 10. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness. You've been deceived with unrighteousness, black man. Did you know that? What you've been tricked into believing that Jesus is a white man? You've been tricked into believing that homosexuality is okay? Go read on. And them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth. You know what? Get the truth. Many of you are going to die because you will not receive the truth. You will not receive God's laws. You will not receive the greatest heritage on this earth. You have given away your birthright. You have failed to realize the truth. Brother, do you know what the truth is? Did you know that the truth is 
Christ is a black man just like you. That's right. Sister, did you know the truth is that man is supposed to be a king that you're walking next to? That's right. Sister, did you know the truth is we got into slavery, but we're supposed to be on top of this earth as the kings of the world? That's right. That's right. But you keep walking because you don't love the truth. That's Get the right. truth. Because I'm showing you what you have hatred for right now. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Because we just talked about righteousness. Righteousness is keeping God's commandments. So keeping God's commandments is supposed to be doing everlasting. You're supposed to always keep the Sabbath. You're supposed to always have your fingers on. But the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they hate God. You call yourself Christians, but you hate God. You hate Jesus. If you love the Lord, come prove it to me. Show me you love God. Because we're showing our people that they're the greatest people on this earth. But they don't want to hear that. Black man, if you love God, come show me. Show me about God. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. The law is the truth. God's laws are true. You've been learning all the lies in this world, right. but you've never learned the truth. That's you've right. never learned God's laws. That's right. You're the first to put the pepperoni on the pizza, add a piece of bacon to the burger. But guess what? You've been lied to. You can't eat that. You've been lied to. That's yeah. bad for your health because it's going to get you put to death. That's right. right. Let's right. go back to where we were. Read. So book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 10. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness, and them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, you receive not God's laws. Read. That they might be saved. Who? Who might be saved? It's a lot of people out here walking around in Christianity, they say they saved. When you get baptized, you say you're saved. But you fail to realize that you have not been saved yet. If you're still in a state where you can get shot, Right. by the police, right. you're not saved. Right. If you're still in a state where you can receive cancer, high blood pressure, diabetes, STDs, you have not been saved. That's right. If you're still in a state where your family hates you, where you can't trust the, your neighbor, you have not been saved. Right. Let us right. know what salvation is. Let us show that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have not been saved. Right. Let us show that none of the nationalities on this earth have been saved. Right. Let us show who is going to be saved and when? Read. It's the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Now this is in your Bibles, your Christian Bibles, the Bibles that are in your courtrooms, the Bibles that are by your bedstands, the Bibles that are in your churches, the Bibles that you do not read. We're going to show you who's going to be saved. If you say now and when. Blessed be the Lord God of this world. First thing you got to realize is that God our God is the God of Israel and right. not else. This right. holy Bible is written to you Israelites. That's right. This Bible is only for the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. But That's you've been right. seen. You failed to realize that this is your history book. Right. You right. let everyone else read it, but you don't read it. Right. So who can be saved? Read. For he has visited and redeemed his people. Whose people? His people. You failed to realize the possessive words. You see? Because this Bible is possessed by you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. It's your book. Read. And has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Now the brothers are walking by here. It's some black men. They coming to realize that Christ came for them. Black man, did you know that Christ came and died for your sins and your sins only? That's black right. man, did you know that God is the God of Israel and none else? That's and you right. are the Israelites? That's right. You are God's chosen people. Right. Right. But you failed to realize it because you've been deceived in this world. Right. I bet any one of you can't challenge me and show me that this man right here is Jesus Christ. Nobody wants to con contest the Israelites. Nobody wants to talk about their history. Nobody wants to know their true heritage. Read. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet. Brother, did you know the prophets are back and they're black? Did you know that Jesus Christ is a black man? Did you know that you God chosen the people? That's right. Well, come talk to us if you know. Let's see what you know. Show me something. Because all you're showing me is you want death and destruction. That's right. Read. Which have been since the world began that we should be saved. You fail to realize that we shall be saved. 
The Israelites gonna be saved, but it say saved. Future tense. You ain't saved yet. Read. That we should be saved from our enemies. From who? From our enemies. Uh oh. Did you know that God has enemies? Did you know that God's chosen people have enemies? Yeah. You think everybody loves everybody, but it's being proved every day when that bullet come out and kill your people. It's being proved every day when you get denied the employment that you seek. It's proved every day when your community is the one that don't get clean water. You got enemies. Read. And from the head of all that hate us, you Latin men, you black men, you Native American men, you got people that hate you. You Native Americans, you should know. You got your land taken from you. You got put in different reservations. You've been destroyed as a people. But you think the white man loves you. You think everybody loves you. Black man, you was put in shackles and chains. Your history is in this Bible and you failed to realize it. Read. That's right. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. When is the black man going to come and learn his true heritage? When is a black man going to come and listen to the word of God? Because there's a black man walking right by and he act like he can't hear me. Brother in the hood, you want to walk by, but come listen to God's words. Read. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers. You realize that mercy was only promised to our fathers. Hey, black man, you know that you God's chosen people and you're supposed to be a king on this earth. You want to know how to get on top of society and we're walking around like this? You don't want to know. Read. And to remember his holy covenant. Hey, brothers, did you know that God made a covenant with you and your people only? Okay, so you know that you're an Israelite according to the Bible? Yeah. Oh, you think you're African American? Both. Yeah. Both. You can't be both. You got to be one or the other. Come find out. Come talk to me for two minutes and show you something. You see, nobody wants to hear the truth. Nobody wants to know their true heritage. Nobody wants the kingdom of heaven. Because if you wanted the kingdom of heaven, you would get this verse. Brother with the Padres hat on, what's going on? Let's talk about something real quick. What's the deuce? I don't want the deuce. I want you to hear the God's word. You know what? Our people got cotton in their ears. Our people are stiff-necked and rebellious. Our people ain't trying to hear nothing. They want to die. Read. The oath which he swore to our father, Abraham, that he would grant unto us, because you failed to realize, black man, that you ain't African. You came from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. You right. Israelites. The black man, the Latin man, and the Hispanic man, you are God's chosen people. That's right. And sisters, if you are Hispanic, you are Israelite. That's right. If you're black, you are Israelite. That's right. If you're Native American, you are Israelite. That's right. But you want to be a white man. You want to, sisters want to blonde their hair. Want to lighten their skin. Well, guess what? Black is beautiful. That's right. Black is the most beautiful thing on this earth. Right. right. King Solomon was a black man. That's right. Jesus the Christ was a black man. That's right. God is a black man. Right. With right. Really hair and dark skin. But you want to be white. Read on. Yeah. The book of Luke, chapter 1, one verse 74. That he will grant unto us that we're being delivered out of the hand of our enemy. You see, in order to be saved, you have to be delivered from the hand of your enemy. You still sitting here with your enemy. You at the job with your enemy. You go to school with your enemy. Your enemy takes you to jail. Your enemy takes your tax money. Right. But you think you saved. Bring it up. Shh. My serve him without fear. It said what? That we, that we, that we might serve him without fear. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you can't serve your God without fear because you scared to realize that God is a black man. You scared to realize that Christ is a black man. Somebody hold up Christ. Somebody hold up the real Christ. You scared to see a black man rise in power and be the greatest man on this earth. You scared to see a man of authority. So what does the Bible say? Read it again.
and thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. Do you know, at one time, I was discontinued from this? I was eating pork, shit, lobster, crab. I was an adulterer. I was a thief. I was disconnected from this. And then I expect God to be with me. That makes a question. Do you believe in God? Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube channels. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.